Hey, what's up Goal Guards? In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a simple redirection drill. This is a really awesome drill for working on small corrections and small lateral movements across the paint. These first few clips show that the goaltender does not have to make a large adjustment to slide lateral to get there for the deflection or the redirection. So the goal is to keep the goaltender in their butterfly as long as possible without having to go into the splits, without kicking out their lead leg, but rather shift into a nice butterfly save and really keep it simple. First, the goalie hinges off of their post onto the corner angle of their crease in line with shooter number one who has a pile of pucks. Shooter number one will make sure that the goalie doesn't cheat to their far side, and if they don't, they'll pass the puck to the shooter parked in front of the net for a quick redirection on goal. In these couple of clips, you can see our goaltenders just not quite getting a strong enough push to get across the net and get square in front of that puck. In this one, you can see a common mistake where the goalie is actually dragging his trailing pad, which doesn't give him enough speed to get across the net. It slows him down and actually throws his weight back in the direction he is coming from, so not in the direction that he wants to go to. He does a much better job here of dropping the trailing pad, but unfortunately he doesn't actually get enough rotation with his hands and chest to get himself square to the puck, and he slides out in the wrong angle and can't make the save. This is a great drill for focusing on the correct angle to slide at when working on a lateral pass. Very rarely do we ever want to fly out to the top of the paint at the shooter. Rather, we want to make a nice lateral motion backwards through the blue paint so that it's quicker and we take a better angle on the puck. And just as important as making the save is recovery. And this drill is awesome for working on on-ice recovery with your goaltenders as well. Here, the goaltender makes the original save and then kind of panics. And rather than picking up their glove side leg and pushing back towards the rebound, they go to swap the puck with their stick and end up falling backwards and the shooter's able to go right around them. It's important to try to maintain your butterfly as long as possible when sliding across the net or on rebound recoveries. There are definitely times to go into desperation mode and go into a dive or a split save, but the longer you can maintain your butterfly and keep your weight balanced and centered over your knees, the better chance you have of making that second, third, or fourth follow-up opportunity save. Great save sequence here by Connor as he goes into the splits to make a nice poke check and then gets back to square for the third opportunity. While we do want to try to stay in the butterfly as long as possible to better our chances of rebound recovery, if we do go into a desperation save, then it's very important that we recover as quickly as we can back up into that butterfly or into our stance. The next thing to remember when sliding laterally across the net is going to be your glove positioning. I'm explaining to the goaltender here that it's very important that you rotate your hands and chest towards the puck when you're pushing across the net. Rotating your hands and chest allows your weight to transfer in the right direction and lead you towards the puck. You also want to make sure that you are extending your hands outward, especially on an in tight save like this one. Remember, we are playing the puck, not the eyes of the shooter. Since the puck is traveling up off of the ice, it's important that you extend your hands out over the puck to take the angle away from it as it travels upward. This is in contrast to a lot of different hand-eye situations such as baseball or football where you're actually catching the projectile from the air at a downward curve. The next thing that this drill is great for is tracking the puck in a scrum or off a rebound after the initial save. We talked about the importance of staying in the butterfly, but that won't help you if you're not actually tracking the puck and picking it up after you make the initial save. In this clip, the goaltender makes a great first save, but the puck squirts out back into the slot. As I slow it down, you can see it takes him a little bit of time to actually see where that puck went, and at that point it's too late to bring up the left pad and get back for the save. As he resets himself, you'll see in this next clip, he makes a great first save, finds the puck, makes another second save, and even a third one on this one. Well done. Training your vision and your tracking skills is extremely important as a goaltender. The Visual Edge Vision Training Tool is actually a great way for goaltenders to start their vision training and work on tracking the puck. The Edge Trainer actually trains your convergence and divergence abilities, which is being able to read the puck as it comes at you and then also after it hits you and deflects away. It's a really great program and be sure to check out the link in the description to get a discount on your first Edge Training.
I really love using drills like this one that focus on patience on the puck and tracking the puck. To the untrained eye, this looks like a very tough save. In reality, it's a simple butterfly shift to the center of the net for an easy blocking style save with your hands extended and your chest square to the puck. Coaches and goalies, make sure you're incorporating game type situation drills into your practices as it helps add that battle component. Keep your stick on the ice and I'll see you in the next video.